Today on Six Sister Stuff, we are making Instant Pot Breakfast Casserole. So uh, my name is Kristen Hills, and every Sunday my sisters and I, we love sharing quick, simple, easy recipes with you so you guys can get dinner or breakfast on the table. So special thanks to Crackums for sponsoring this video. Now I've talked about Crackums before. There are certain kitchen items I love. Crackums is one of them. If you have ever had issues cracking eggs or if you have little ones in the kitchen that need help cracking eggs, this is your solution. So as I'm making this recipe, I'm gonna show you how I use it. And yeah, so if you want this, I'll put a link down below in the description for you. So we're gonna start with 10 eggs. And I love this thing. So it has a little lip right here that literally cracks your eggs perfectly, like every time. So then you just get your little fingers in and crack it. There's no little shells that fall. It's, it works perfect every time. Crack a few more for you. I think my favorite part about it is that the mess literally will stay on this little thing so I don't have egg all over my counter. All right, now you're just gonna mix your eggs until they're all nice and smooth. Okay, while I'm mixing this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Ooh, throw that in there. Now we're just gonna start adding everything in. So we have about two cups of hash browns and I'm just gonna eyeball this. This is one of those recipes where, you know, you can't mess up if you add more or less, it will all work out just fine. Then we're gonna add a half of all these things. So we have a half of a green pepper, half of a yellow, oh, I do know my colors, there we go. Half of a red pepper, half of a red onion. We'll slowly just mix that in. Okay, while I'm mixing these in, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my bacon. So this is about eight strips of bacon cooked and cut up. You can use bacon bits to make your life a little bit easier if you want to. And we'll just slowly, carefully mix this up. Done mixing with that. I'm gonna set that right there, woohoo. And go spoon, mix it in a little better. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna add just about a half a cup of cheese. You can put your cheese all on the top, but I like to have a little bit of cheese incorporated into my casserole. Mix that all in too. I love this because there's a lot of vegetables, but once they're all cooked together, it tastes so good. So, so good. Lots of flavors in here. Okay, this is done. We're gonna go ahead and set this to the side for a second. And I'm gonna talk about the pans that I use. So, you can find some taller pans on Amazon. I will link down below for you. They don't have the handle. We actually designed this ourselves. It just hasn't come out yet. So, but you can find some taller ones. They will work. Or you can use the stackable pans and you can put half of it in there and half of it on top and they can cook that way too. So I'll do a link for both of these, at least this one and a similar one. So you'll be able to know where to find a pan. So this is a pot in pot recipe is what we like to call it. So I'm gonna use some nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna spray inside. There we go. Then we're just gonna pour in our stuff. There we go. Okay. Gonna just flatten it out a little bit, make it all even. And we're gonna throw about another half a cup of cheese on the top. I like cheesy tops, so that's what we're doing. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready to cook it. Gonna slide these things over real quick. Got our handy dandy instant pot. Now we're gonna use a trivet and put it in the bottom of the pot. We don't want any of the pans to be just plain on the bottom because they'll bounce around a little bit. So we have our trivet down. We're just gonna add a cup of water to the bottom. 
Now you can cover this or you don't have to. We're not gonna cover it today. We're just going to throw it right in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab your lid. Make sure you hear that little jingle so it's on correctly. Then we're going to go to pressure cook and it's going to cook for about 25 minutes. Then when it's all done cooking, you're just gonna let it sit and let the pressure release on its own so it will cook a little bit longer. So it's all ready to go so we can just walk away while it cooks. So our Instant Pot is all done cooking. We let all the pressure release on its own. We're gonna turn this knob just to make sure. So you're gonna turn it to venting. Make sure there's no pressure that needs to come out. You can go ahead and open it up. Oh man, it smells so good. Now it's really hot, so you wanna make sure you use a hot pad and carefully pull it out. There we go. Oh man, that looks so good. All right, eggs are cooked, hash browns are cooked, vegetables are cooked. This is really one of my new favorite ways to cook a casserole. Now, the only bad thing is it's round. No one will care once you eat it. So you can add sour cream, avocado, add a little cilantro on top. I'm telling you, it is so good. Now, if you want to check out Crackums, again, I'll put a link down below in the description for you so you can find their awesome little product. This is perfect for stocking stuffers. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. If you, now, if you want to watch more Instant Pot breakfasts, you can find them just right over here. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.